one capsule from each row is released into the slot of the raise by means of release finger. The capsules are then pushed forward to a present position in the raceway by means of an adjustable push plate. The pushing finger descends, turning each capsule cap up, body down, and load them into the aluminum loading ring assembly. While loading into the rings, the larger side of the capsule is retained in the cap ring. As the capsule body is separated from the cap and pulled into the bottom body ring by vacuum applied from below the ring. The turntable supporting the ring set rotated continuously until the ring is fitted with capsules and then stops automatically. The amount of product to be filled in the capsule is regulated by the auger and turntable speed. The speed of the turntable can be adjusted with the help of a motor provided on the variator by operating the switch on the panel board. The auger in the drug hopper has 4 speed. This is in order to achieve the fill width with a given powder and set speed of filling table. The higher the speed of auger, higher the fill width. The speed can be selected by opening the big guard of the machine, analogging the fastener, lifting the main motor assembly with the help of hand wheel and changing over the timing wheels. After the desired product has been charged in the powder hopper and the capsules have been separated, the filling process begins. On the completion of capsule loading operation, place the capsule inside on the filling table. Remove the cap ring and place it on the stand provider on the left side of the machine. Now body ring is ready for filling up order. In case of auto operation, keep the switch in auto mode and switch on the filling start operation by pushing the filling start push button provided on the right hand side control panel. To swing the drug hopper over the ring for filling up order. The drug hopper automatically gets retracted after one complete revolution. During this revolution, the body halves are filled with the product. The cap ring is then placed over the body ring. And the ring set is removed from the turntable. and place on the closing station where the capsules cap and bodies are rejoined. The ring set is placed on the resting table of the rejoining system by locating the pins of the loading ring in the pin recess of the table. The rings are then clamped with the clamping lever by lifting and turning the clamp lever in the position. After this, close the cover and push the auto start push button of the controller. The loading ring moves inwards and the locking cylinder actuates the pin plate upwards which in turn pushes the field bodies locking it back into the caps. After completing, after completing the closing cycle, the locking cylinder retracts and the loading ring moves outward and inwards in its axis, thus ejecting the capsule by gravity. 
After writing the closure assembly, the ring set can then be removed for the next filling. Now for cleaning the hopper for change of product or for changing the auger plate, hopper has to be removed. This procedure is very simple. Just remove all the holes fitted to the hopper with the help of a lens key. Remove the connecting pin which connects the piston and hopper. Rotate the hopper in one direction and remove it carefully. It is very important to understand the drive system of your machine. Your machine is powered with AC motors. This is the power transmission system which consists of a gearbox coupled with a motor, a 0.5 HV motor for loader assembly, a C drive with a speed variator and a 1.5 HP overdrive motor. These are the pneumatic cylinders which actuate to perform different operations like closing the capsule cap and body rings after filling. Tilting the closing plate with the help of the rake and pinion assembly. There are four pneumatic solenoid walls for actuating the different cylinders in reverse and forward direction. We are sure that this video cassette will help you to understand your capsule filling machine 